So, I, so I'm concerned about the retreat of Western liberalism. I'm not concerned about the retreat of Western democracy. Mm. I don't think the majority voice is somehow going to be cancelled, or that we're all going to be disenfranchised, or at least not, not, not through sort of legal shutdown of electoral, so maybe through our own inertia um, there is a danger. But, uh, so the retreat of Western liberalism um, uh, is, is to do with the strength of the institutions and our participation in those institutions and our trust in those institutions that sustain the kind of vital society and economy um, in which democracy flourishes and can be trusted. Um, uh, the tyranny of the majority that Tocqueville wrote about and that the Founding Fathers were so fearful of, mm -hmm. what we now call demophobia, mm -hmm. fear of the mob, um, you know, is, is a concern that's gone way back to the Enlightenment and even before. Um, and I think that concern is rising again with the election of people like Trump, with the, um, the Brexit vote, the near sort of win of a far-right candidate in the Austrian elections and, and other examples. Uh, and that elites uh, are becoming more sceptical of democracy. That sort of Victorian demophobia is making um, a comeback. There's another term, oikophobia fear of those who live near you. It's the opposite of xenophobia, fear of those under your nose, um, fear of the Appalachians or the people who live in Sheffield or Sunderland or whatever it might be. Um, and so the threat to democracy, I don't really think necessarily comes from populist movements. I think it comes from the elite reaction to populist mm -hmm. movements. Uh, now, another manifestation of that is what's happened to Trumpian populism in the United States since he came into office. As I said earlier, the only bill he's passed is a tax bill. And there's a phrase that my colleague Martin Wolf uses, Pluto populism, uh, that what he's really doing is he's uh, creating a kind of Latin American situation uh, where the, the very rich backers in a very unequal society are getting rewarded. The imagery, the politics, the oratory, um, you know, is common man, um, the, is man of the people, but uh, uh, it's Peronist in a way. Um, but the, uh, the actions are, are very elitist, they're very plutocratic. Um, so uh, when you ask, is populism a necessary corrective? I guess I avoid the word populism, um, uh, but because it can mean so many things. It's a very fungible term. Mm -hmm. What I do think we are seeing is a retreat of Western liberalism. And, and that's a slightly different thing.